Kilo Kimi Hanta, welcome back to another Naruto Ultimate Ninja Blazing video. Um, I've been fighting an ear infection and I'm feeling a little better now, so I decided to record some Blazing, then do some Storm today. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling like actually doing videos again and uh, I'm feeling positive too. So, because Chisui and Itachi are gonna be coming out pretty soon on JP. I wanna basically grind pearls, and what I'm gonna be doing is every day I'm gonna be doing the PvP rewards and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the the daily pearls that they give you, which is like four or five if you count the login bonuses. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. And maybe I can make a video out of it. Who knows? But that's basically the plan right now. This is my PvP team, and on JP, a lot of people say that there's a lot of uh, scrubs, and to some extent that's true. Okay. You see a lot of people with five stars and shit going into PvP, which makes no sense to me. Uh, but for the most part, you do have a lot of challenging people that do play this game as well. So it's not like everybody that plays it is bad. Like right here, I could lose. This guy has two Hinatas. He has that Chojuro. I need to really be careful for that. All right. Let me see which one outspeeds who. Because that's going to be very important. I really hope I outspeed. Oh my god, hold on, man. I hate this loading shit, man. This loading data shit. Alright, he gets the first turn, so fuck me, I guess. <clears throat> uh, he might be, yeah, he definitely will kill that Gara. Unfortunately for me, I have no dupes on that Gara. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, who do I go for? Who do I go for? You know what? Let's go for. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Sakura. Just because I feel, I don't know, I feel like if I go for the Sakura, it'll be a little bit better. I made sure that my Hinata was well, well far away from the Sakura. Because I'm going to be using Hashirama against the Sakura now. And, you know, I don't want my units closed up together to where they can get hit. I don't know, man. Uh, ooh, and that was a crit, so automatic death. <laughs> Thank you, baby. The luck. The, the luck got me, boy. <clears throat> That's cool, man. You can hit him. You can hit him. That's cool. I know why he's targeting him, and it makes sense for him to do that. Um, now, the real question is... Actually, yeah. Let's do this. Because I might be able to win this. My Hinata isn't going to outspeed. I don't think my Hinata's going to outspeed. Because the way this game works is, if a character outspeeds you... Um, and then I got another crit there. If a character outspeeds you, there's no way you can outspeed that character, okay? Like, you will never be able to outspeed that character. That's basically how it works. So it doesn't matter who he kills. There you go. I pretty much win this right here because I get the attack boost from Rock Lee. I get the attack boost from Hashirama being next to me. And it's pretty much game over here. At least it should be. And that's why I really like rocking this Obito. It's just amazing, dude. Look at that. Like, I could have easily lost that, but because I had the attack boost just set up next to me, it was GG. He didn't even take one of my units out. It's awesome. The funny thing about me not having any dupes on my Gara is that I could give him dupes. Um, I have three ability stones on JP, just saved up there for no reason. Uh, I just simply haven't used them because I haven't found a unit that I want to give it to. Uh, and I don't want to give it to Gara, to be honest. I could give it to Hashirama, because Hashirama's first two dupes are damage reduction. And that could really help me on PvP, but I feel like I shouldn't waste that. You know, I should not waste that on PvP characters. I should wait and see if a really dope unit comes out that actually is worth it. Uh, this guy, I don't know what the fuck he's doing with that team, but you know what, man? It's okay. We'll, we'll humor it. Let, let's see if he has some kind of strategy. He could have some kind of strategy for this. So I'm going to see. He has Han. He has um, the Mike guy. Yeah, you can tell he's new to the game. You can tell. Uh, the Utakata automatically dies from Mahashirama, so I'm going to leave him there. Let me see how much HP. I know Han doesn't have a lot of HP. Yeah, it's 25k. Yeah, so eh, it'll be it'll be an easy match. It'll be an easy match. But then again, you never you never know if this guy really has like some, some kind of trick up his sleeve. Alright, so it's going to be a quick match. Just because I kind of already have it set up to where I can win. Uh, all I gotta really do is, you know, my Hashirama automatically kills Utakata, so I don't gotta worry about Utakata whatsoever. All of my units outspeed, so it's pretty much game over as it is. 
Um, and this is one of those other people that I was talking about in the beginning of the video that just don't know how to play the game. Uh, or, or they come into PvP just thinking that, okay, let, I can just play with any unit. But hey, man, it's all cool. So cool. Watch this, right? So Hashirama, Utakata. Utakata only has like 20 something thousand HP, so this is automatic death for him. There you go, man. And then all I gotta do now, basically, is this. Boom. And then what I do now, and, and I got the reset. And then what I do now is I just use my Obito, go after the Neji. I should kill him. Let me see how much HP he has total. He has 27,000. Yeah, I should kill him because I get the attack boost from Hashirama, which is like 200 attack. And that's good for the multiplier on the Jutsu. Yeah, he should be dead here. Should be in the keyword. There you go. And that's about it, man. I mean, it's a pretty simple match. I only show, I'm only showing it on the video because I wanted to give you guys an example of what I was talking about, right? Or where you have people that really don't have anything to go on in terms of Blazing Bash and they just use whatever team they can. Oh, man. Here goes the same team. I, I already fought this guy. You guys remember this dude, the dude with the two Hinatas. Um, I'm gonna try to do the same thing again, except that I don't think I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be as lucky, because as you guys remember, <laughs> the Hashirama was the one that saved my life. Because honestly, I was only expecting Hashirama to switch around the Sakura and the Sasuke, but instead he just crit the shit out of Sakura, and thank God there's no um, Chakra uh, pits here. See, I wish I could outspeed here because it'll be a lot easier for me. Let me outspeed, okay? We have the same speed. And I know another way this this game works is like a like a coin toss kind of thing where oh there you go I did outspeed this time uh, but yeah it works like a coin toss where essentially if you have the same speed as somebody else there's a 50 50 chance that you're gonna get the first turn but ooh a crit oh shit I spoke too soon baby ooh but like I was saying yeah like basically when somebody outspeeds you. That character will always outspeed your first character, okay? If their first character's faster, that will, it will always outspeed it. I don't know why. Even if they have the same speed, which is dumb. Uh, please, baby. Uh, Alright, yeah. I think I, I can outspeed the Sasuke, because so I'm good. Come on, baby. Kill that, kill that Sakura. Make me proud. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I thought I wasn't going to get lucky again. And I got lucky again. He can use Chojuro, right? Chojuro's like an AoE character, I believe. I'm not too sure, I forgot. But I think he can. And he's smart, he's more going for the Hashirama again. Because the moment he goes for the moment he gets rid of Hashirama, he automatically um, gets rid of whatchamacalls it? Um It's gonna end up the same way, bro. Holy shit. This match is about to end the same way. And this time. I want the speed contest, so my Hinata will outspeed his first Hinata. Not like it matters because he's still gonna die. Yo, wow, the match ended the exact same way. That's incredible. See? Okay, so I get the attack boost from Rock Lee and Hashinama, and that's just a GG. That's just a GG, bro. Mmm. Look at that shit. Dude, that's overpowered. That Obito is crazy. If you guys have a Hashinama and somebody has that Obito underneath, remember to always go for that row that has that Obito because he is deadly. He has a lot of damage and he's AOE. Ooh, damn, okay. Two Blazing Bash Edos, bro. You, you, god damn, bro. You really want to kill me, huh? That's crazy. Uh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough to fight against. Uh, in case you guys don't know, Eno, this Eno has like 40 plus thousand HP, which is basically impossible to fucking beat. Like, it's, it literally is. So, I'm gonna go for... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for Sasuke, bro. Sasuke seems to be the, the, the like the clear like option here. Sasuke doesn't have that much HP in comparison to the Eno, so... You know, but he does have the Wisdom um, Sync skills activated, so I kind of want to make sure I'm not too close to to him to get an AOE juice because you know he's AOE by the way. Oof. That bitch does damage, boyo. Oof. Get right there. 
this will be tough, but hopefully he huddles up. Hopefully he huddles up next to me uh, with all of his uh, teammates, and I can use all of Ito to uh, at least immobilize. Because that's really the only thing I can pray on right now. Let me see. Eno, does Eno have good enough, sp better speed than my... Oh, no. Nah, yeah, he, she does. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's AOEs all around. Please come down here. That, thank you. Thank you so much. Still won't get a kill. Oh, wait. You got a crit, though. All right. You get an attack boost. That's cool. Uh, let's do this. So I can, you know, basically go in there. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very tough right now, as you guys could see, because, you know, he has tanks out the ass. And then, I won't hit, I will not hit the, whatchamacallit, the Madara, but, I can at least count on this. Yeah, I can at least count on this hitting um, the Eno, and I immobilized the Madara, so, just freebies, baby, freebies. The only thing I can count on right now is he's going to kill the Hashirama for sure. That's the only thing he's going to go for. He could go for the Rock Lee, but it's too much of a risk because I got the OT Naruto on the bottom. And there's a chance I could actually, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, basically, I go... Oh, he put me into the thing too. Let me see. Let's do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I took a chance there because he could have subbed because of the OT Naruto. But who cares, right? Who cares? Come on, baby. Come on. Oof. Oof. All right, baby. I know you got this. You got this, baby. Come on. There you go. Please, man. Please kill that Sasuke. Mm, and I got a crit, baby. And I got a crit. Holy shit. Holy shit. That match was some crazy shit. Because he, he, I know what his plan was. So basically, two Enos, right? With 44k HP. One on the front row, one on the back row. And then the middle row had Madara, which makes him invulnerable to Jutsus. So he basically made it so I have no choice other than to hit the tanks, which I didn't want to do, right? That's smart, but my setup was actually just good enough. Just good enough to beat whatever he had. So at the very least, I'm happy about that. Ooh, okay. Okay, a more traditional team. All right. Okay. I, I, might, I might take an L here. I might take an L here. He has a really good setup. First of all, he gets first turn. Then he gets uh, Ma, uh, Hashirama, which he can make me switch out of my uh, from my Hinata to my Obito. And the reason why I have Hinata on the front is because Obito can piggyback off of the Hinata speed and get, you know, the Jutsu. So uh, it's going to be tough here, man. It's going to be tough for the boy. Yeah, it's definitely going to be tough, but it's okay. I get, I get two turns back to back. So at the very least, I can go, ooh. Ooh, he, he chakra sealed me, boy. All right, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay here. And then what I'm going to do next is make him slow. Make him slow. I don't want him to use that Obito. Make him slow. All right. Um, But, yeah, it seems like I might be on a pickle here because it's fine. You can kill. You can kill that OT now. So it's fine. Not like he will, but, you know. Alright. Hey, you can't do shit. Just like I couldn't do shit, you can't do shit. And I might not be able to... Actually, shit, go up there. Yes! <laughs> go up there, boyo! <laughs> ah, shit! Yo. Yo. Hold on. Should I? Yeah, I will. I will. I will. Woo. It's about that time, baby. Probably shouldn't go for the Obito because if I kill him, it'll be time for Hisinata to come out. 
but I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just gonna go all out here, all three of them. Get this fucking work, boy. Yeah, yeah, he. Oof. 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 Okay. Um. Fuck it. Fuck it. Go for it. You just still didn't die? Yo, I'm fucking dead. The Obito's still not dead, bro. Yo. Okay, man. Uh, we we need to call an emergency meeting. <laughs> oh shit, we need to call an emergency meeting out here, bro. Oh wait, one of them died because of that. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Okay, okay. The Obito died because he was in the in the poison thing. Wow, that's crazy. To to actually lose a unit like that, and he didn't use a jutsu. And Hinata, um, could you kindly? Get the fuck out of there, please. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, shit. There you go. Okay. Boom. Okay. You ain't got shit on you, boy. Nah, he's done. He's done. Okay. Dude, I'm a, I'm a piece out of here with a W. Actually, just to be a dick. You know, I could make him switch. Yeah, I could make him switch. Let's see if the poison will kill him. L let's see. Because I want to see if the Sasuke dies because of the poison. Wouldn't that be... Nah, he ain't. Okay. So, sorry, Sasuke Kun. You are dead, boy. You are dead. Oh, my God. Oof. I honestly does not lose that, man. Because, yo, the chakra seal on the Hinata. And I don't have anybody to use a jutsu with. It it's crazy, bro. Like... Uh, like like I was saying, when you have that Obito, when somebody when you see somebody with that Obito on the bottom, if you have a Hashirama, it's always best to go for that row. Because that means they won't be able to do shit when you switch them around. Unless they got like a chakra generator before the, the third turn for them comes. You, you're good. You're basically chilling, okay? Didn't lose a single unit there either. By complete chance. Uh, but yo, holy shit. And I won, I won five and five, right? I won, f I played five games and I won five games. So I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, let me collect my pearls real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys really quickly my ability stones as well. Now I'm hoarding uh, these points, these clash coins. I'm hoarding them in case a, a cool character comes around. Not necessarily a good one, cause like the PVP cats are, are never really all that good. But, you know, something that uh, I want. Something, a character that I actually like is what I'm trying to get at. Um, they don't have to be good per se. Just something that I actually want to ultimate. Just for show. Alright, so let me show you guys the ability coins. Or point. Oh, the ability stone, man. Shit, what the fuck am I doing? Um, as you guys can see right here, look at this beauty, man. Three of them. I could put them on anybody. And it would be OP. So I'm going to wait until a brand new character comes around. Uh, let me collect all the shit that I had on my bots, and I'll show you guys my cumulative total. So I got 20 pearls. I'm saving up for Chisui and Itachi because, like I told you guys before, I'm free to play on JP, not on Global. On Global, I actually put money towards the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really do. Uh, I will be doing more PvP videos. I'm going to be recording a Storm video now. So let me get to that. I'm out, guys. Peace.